Mixing Mortar with Colour Facts, part of a series of helpful guides produced by Mason's Mortar. Accurate, repeatable mixing is the best way to get consistent results. Get the correct mixes every time by using accurate measurements. Start with about 75% of the typical water required, preferably in a tall narrow tub such as the one shown here. Tall narrow tubs keep the paddle working more efficiently than wider tubs, which allow material to be thrown to the outsides, resulting in inefficient mixing. Add the colour pack to the water and mix. Add approximately half of the mortar and mix until it has a creamy consistency. Take a margin trowel or a properly shaped bucket trowel to ensure that the materials at the bottom of the bucket get properly mixed in. It's important that this stage is never missed out. It's clear from the clip just how much unmixed material remains at the bottom of the bucket. Remix to ensure full incorporation of the colour pack. Now add the remaining material to the mix. Use a margin trowel to start gently turning the remaining unmixed material over. Start thoroughly mixing by using a paddle mixer. Using the margin trowel, scrape the sides and bottom of the bucket, freeing any unmixed material. As you can see, there's quite a lot of remaining unmixed material. Continue mixing until there is no more uncoloured material visible. Now add the remaining small amount of water and continue to mix. One last quick mix with the trowel, ensuring there is no uncoloured material left. This is very important as this would have a profound effect on the final look. Ensure the product has been mixed for at least 3-4 to four minutes with a paddle mixer and at least five to six minutes with a free fall mixer. The product is now ready to be used.